So the first thing you want to do when you are burning down a big massive pile of brush is you want to check to see if there's any burn bans in your county. Look that up online, see if there's any burn bans. And you also want to try to do this when the grass is still green and when everything has not started dying. And it's best if you do it after a couple big rains. So it rained yesterday, the day before, the day before that. And so a lot of this is already kind of wetted down that you can see the fire's not wanting to spread really fast. And so that works just perfectly. So do the check, have a burn van, check and see if it has a burn van. Then you can also call the fire department and uh, let them be aware of it because people may be calling the police saying there's a big massive fire. If the fire department knows about it, they can be on alert. If for some reason your fire gets out of control, starts burning down the force, call 911 and uh, get this fire department out there. But that should not be a problem if you follow all these precautions. See, that's starting to get a little bigger than I want it to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and see, just spray it a little bit. Keep the fire down just a tad. Look at that. So basically that's all you gotta do. Just sit here, keep the fire down, you want it to keep burning, obviously, but you also want to keep it down if you have any fire lines, power lines like this that you don't want to get hot and burn and melt or anything like that. So you definitely want to have a water source that you can sit and spray that fire down just to keep the heat down, mainly. There we go. Just beautiful. You want to have your brush sitting here for at least six to eight, one year maybe even. And when it's dry, you can light it on one side of the pile. Now you want to light it on the side of the pile that the wind is blowing. So if the wind is blowing this direction, you light it on this side of the pile so it burns backwards. If it's a small pile and you just want it to burn fast, then you can burn it on the opposite side and uh, burn it that direction. But if you burn it backwards, typically what will happen is it will slowly burn backwards and you won't have a massive fire that you have to contain. Secondly, you always want to have a water source like a hose. Because if you ever have something close, like a power line or something like that, you definitely want to contain the flame. So if you spray that water on that flame, the flame goes down, you can contain it. You can also wet down this whole stack of... Uh, brush. That's another way to contain it. Wet down the whole stack of brush so it doesn't burn so fast. Also, do it on a day where there's hardly any wind. Like today, there's no wind. It's burning straight up. It's really easy to contain. If, if there's a 10, 15 mile per hour wind blowing towards that forest right there, you're going to have a hard time keeping those flames from trying to get over into that forest. Also, you want to have a skid steer or make sure that your grass around this fire is mowed. Skid steers will help you to push all that grass out and get all the dead stuff out so that all you have left is green grass and you can water it down just like this to contain any type of burning. Continue to walk around your, uh, your fire and go ahead and spray that grass just in case some ash comes down close to this fire. Typically if it blows all the way over there you're gonna have a real fast wind or something and it'll it, that's the only way it'll do it without burning out but today with no wind it's most likely never going to have a big ash that'll float way over there with no wind so you don't usually have to worry about it more than about 20 feet from the fire and basically you just stay here until this fire is burnt down when the fire is burnt down then you can go ahead and start using your skid steer to push everything to the center of that fire you can pick up any dirt and put it in a pile on the side and that way you have the pile basically burnt down the dirt will be pushed to the side and you can continue to burn those big logs like we're doing right over here you can see that's the very end part we've pushed the dirt to the side let's get into the dirt's pushed to the side we're burning all the big logs in the middle and that's the very last thing to do so there you go also, you want to make sure there are no ordinances in your town for burning in your backyard. Some towns and some cities have ordinances that you cannot burn, so you will have to haul this brush to a landfill to get rid of it. So I went ahead and lit it on like four different sides because uh, it was 
going so slow and that's basically as big as it's got and it's really not that hot because my wood is somewhat wet smoke is going straight up there's no wind at all and uh, it's burning down pretty quickly now that I lit it on all sides so you may want to end up lighting yours on all sides as well if you're having difficulty burning it sometimes when the wood is wetter this wood hasn't really sit for more than about six months seven months so it's still somewhat wet and there it is that's as big as the fire got right there Here's the other side of the fire, and it's all burning down real good too. And notice it's not burning any of this grass. And uh, typically you want to try to do this when the grass is green. That's what we've done after a big rain. So this pile's burning up nicely. Now we're going to go ahead, when it burns down a little bit more, use our skid steer here to push any extra brush back on that fire so that we can burn up the bigger stuff and stuff that was on the sides. So then around the outside typically you'll have dirt and you want to go ahead and take your skid steer and uh, remove that dirt. Go ahead and put that dirt over on the side somewhere. Pile it up over here so you can continue to push all that brush where it needs to go. There we go. Now after you get the dirt, go ahead and take your skid steer, drop that bucket. Go ahead and push. Push up just like that so the dirt falls. And push forward like this so you can push all the brush up further so that it can keep burning. We use the skid steer, we pushed it all together. And there's the last little bit and it burns real hot right in that middle you just keep pushing it on there and throwing everything on there until you're done put all your extra dirt and just flatten it out on top of the ground pick up any extra sticks and you're finished so here's the other fire we're burning and we've pushed it around the dirt we put over here and i'm spreading it around the ground and picking up the extra sticks throwing them in the middle now this last little bit of fire is soldering from the inside so it's burning up those big massive stumps and stuff like that so it's going to burn for a long time hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to throw the rest of it on because it'll still be soldering and uh, be able to clean all this up spread out the dirt be done